Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Case H assortment for 2021 and I'll be honest it's actually a really good assortment because it has a lot of new trucks to talk about. Today I'll also be trying out a new video format. I've had a suggestion that um, my hands-on reviews are a little too long. Of course I'm here to serve my community that I've been uh, attached to for a long time. Basically my subscriber base is what I'm trying to say and um, I did want to try something different even though um, most of my subscribers are here for the longer reviews. I'm going to try to be a little shorter today. I'm going to put each truck on the turntable and talk about each detail but try to keep it as short as possible. So uh, that's kind of a learning curve for me. If this works out and you guys like it better because it's shorter and more to the point, let me know. If not, we'll return to the other videos but I'm trying it out in this Hot Wheels video so I don't change the Spin Master stuff since that's the main content you guys like. So anyway, long intro aside, here is Case H for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks in 2021. Really cool assortment here. Uh, the first two trucks that are new in this assortment are Bionic Bruiser and the new Will Trash It All. And uh, here's the back of the card here, real fast. So the only repeat truck of this year is SpongeBob. And then the other seven are brand new. There was also a chase piece for this case, which was Roger Dodger, but the 1974 throwback. So here is Will Trash It All. We have Bionic Bruiser, a Neon Shockers Roger Dodger, the Unimog by Mercedes-Benz, the Land Rover, really cool, two uh, sponsored trucks, and the Jurassic World Camp Creatius Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the 909. So in order to do this video, we're going to unbox everything at one time, and then I'm going to go to the turntables for each individual truck as I knock things down. So first truck we're unboxing is number 46 of 75 of the year, the Land Rover. All right, so there is Land Rover. And next up for unboxing is the Unimog, uh, right here for Mercedes-Benz. All right, there is the Unimog. Really cool that they did a Mercedes truck. And now we have Roger Dodger, number 56 of 75. Neon Shockers, so there's Roger Dodger. And then we have the Wheel Cool Wheel Trash It All, right there, number six of six and number 53 of 75. All right, there's Wheel Trash It All, really cool truck. And then Bionic Bruiser, number 54 of 75, part of the Fast Foodie series, which it has no fast food connotation, but we will go with it. Here we go. And I'll talk more about these individually very soon. So there's Bionic Bruiser. We have the Jurassic World Camp Creatius Tyrannosaurus Rex, number 62. And there's that. And then we have the 909. So this is part of the Pink Crush. Here we go. All right, unboxing's done. Let's put them on the turntable and talk about each one, starting with the Bionic Bruiser. And number 54 of 75 for this year is the Bionic Bruiser, a brand new casting by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for 2021. I don't know why it's part of the Fast Foodie series, but it is. It's actually the last Fast Foodie truck for this year. Um, it has no fast food uh, connection to it, but nonetheless, here it is. It has a dark navy blue roll cage with bright metallic green beadlocks and black rims. It also has a functioning eyepiece, and that's a cool part about it. But besides that, I would give the casting, you know, maybe a 7 out of 10, but other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of the Bionic Bruiser. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool truck to have, at least new casting-wise, in 2021 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Number 54 of 75, the Bionic Bruiser. And now we have the 909. This is number 55 out of 75 for the year. And it's the last new paint crush truck for this season of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I've been a pretty big critic against the paint crush series. I really thought it was going to be a Spectre Flame series, but it turned out just kind of be this patternized uh, series for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I don't think it appeals to the kid audience much because these are all over my stores. Once this case hit, these were the ones that were left behind. Um, I don't think there's much interest in a pretty plain truck like this. So uh, the Paint Crush series, not bad on the pink colors, not bad on the actual color schemes, but I think they could have done something much better, especially with their Spectre Flame technology. But 909 is a pretty cool color. Out of all of them, I'll honestly give it my favorite out of the color schemes. Um, but the fact that it's just a standard pickup truck or dual cab pickup truck, uh, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. I do like the red windshield. I like the chrome rims. But other than that, nothing too exciting with 909. It also has a red roll cage and chrome chassis. So there is 909 for this year, number 55 out of 75. And next up is the Roger Dodger from the Neon Shocker series. It is number 56 out of 75 for the year and number five out of seven for the Neon Shockers of this year. 
It is typical with the Neon Shockers to see a very similar paint scheme to this on all trucks. So um, very similar to others. It has green flames with yellow outlines, orange stripes, and a nice deep blue green color for the paint. It has a really cool motor insert that's a neon yellow green color. It has a light pink roll cage, green chassis, the same neon color, uh, rim choice with a metallic orange beadlock color over them. I believe it's actually our last neon shocker for this year. So there it is, number 56 out of 75, the Neon Shockers Roger Dodger. Next on the turntable is number 52 out of 75 for the year, and it is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog, a very popular heavy equipment vehicle by Mercedes. And I'm just so happy that we got it in Hot Wheels Monster Trucks because I really like this car in real life, or this truck, I should say. And it fits the chassis really well, not bad on the proportions. Usually car castings are a hit or a miss for Hot Wheels, converting them over. But this one's very well done. I like the charcoal base as well as the nice burnt orange paint color. I also enjoy the smokestack on the side of the truck and the truck bed and roll bars in the back. It also has the Mercedes-Benz logo casted on and printed on in the front. Really good detail there. And also I really enjoy the windshield because it's big and it also has the side windows on all four windows on the sides of the truck. So really nicely casted and well thought out piece here. It also has a black roll cage, chrome chassis, burnt orange beadlocks over a black rim. And that is the Unimog by Mercedes-Benz, number 52 out of 75 for this year, brand new for Hot Wheels monster trucks. And another sponsored truck, this is the Land Rover 90 Defender. And this is a really cool casting. It's a perfectly proportioned casting. Uh, they got it super close to the roll cage. And I think that they did a wonderful job actually casting this and making it work. I believe the license plate on the back door is a California 1960 throwback plate, which are currently really popular in California, the black and yellow color. And being from California, and of course, Hot Wheels is in California, Mattel, uh, it's pretty cool to see that on the truck. Also, I love the Land Rover sponsorships on the sides and very simple paint scheme, green, yellow, black, and white. Very nice, clean truck printed headlights, and I love that the roof actually has a shovel and other work equipment inside the roof rack. So not a bad casting, not a bad color choice, and I like the white beadlocks over black rims. And of course it has a black roll cage and chrome chassis. And that is number 46 out of 75 for this year, the Land Rover 90 Defender. Next up on the list is the Wheel Trash It All from the Wheel Cool series, the last new Wheel Cool truck for this year. It has a T-Rex style paint scheme with a teal blue color for the base coat. And I really like the fact that the functioning back door or the hatch on the back of the garbage truck actually functions as the mouth of the T-Rex. I think it's a very good kids audience oriented truck. I love the mouth on the front of the garbage truck too on the grill and the fact that the tail continues on to the cab of the truck. I also really like the saw blade style uh, tire printing and yellow tires to match the colors on the truck as well as the chrome rims definitely set it off. It also has a yellow windshield, which is a really cool touch. So number 53 of 75 for the year, Will Trash It All from Wheel Cool. And the last new truck of this assortment is the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Camp Creatius Jurassic World series. It debuted in 124 scale earlier this year and got a lot of praise. I'm surprised because I don't particularly love this cast and I don't quite understand what's going on here, but it's basically half like a Tyrannosaurus Rex face on the front and then kind of a normal-ish pickup truck on the back. Um, just an interesting truck. I do understand the popularity because of Jurassic World, so I won't knock it for that. I do like that they reached out to more brands like this, but uh, yeah, not a very attractive casting in my opinion. I do like the matte clear coat though on the actual head of the dinosaur, but other than that, not the most exciting thing in the world besides the contract that it has. Uh, it also has a black chassis, which is different from the chrome ones we just saw recently, as well as these interesting color dim orange rims. So pretty cool truck, and that is number 62 out of 75 for this year, and that will wrap up this review of the Case H assortment of Hot Wheels Monstrucks. If you guys enjoy this quick video format, please let me know in the comments if you guys like me to continue with this. And it also is a little more interesting, I think, to see the truck in full 360 instead of me handling it and actually pointing out the details every single step of the way. So let me know in the comments by a vote of this comment section. I will do this video style permanently or I'll stick with the old one and continue on as we were. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD signing out.